In the 14th chapter of the book of Romans, in part it says, if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. In that context, let us join in prayer this morning. O Lord, our Lord, help us to live each day knowing that you are indeed our Lord, both in this life and in the life that is to come, and that we are your people. We are a people who so desperately need to know your love for us, and then to seek to live each day in response to that love to offer up to you our efforts that day and the next day and every day as one expression of our love. We confess that so often when left to ourselves, our efforts are instead selfish and short-sighted. We fail to live up to our true calling and that's true of us as individuals, as a church, as a nation, and as a world. Yet we also know that you have created us for so much more than that. You are the one who rescues us from our own failings and calls us to something far greater than we can even imagine. You give our lives meaning and purpose and indeed challenges us, and indeed challenge us to be more than by ourselves we can imagine we could be. Not in the eyes or measure of the world, but in the eyes and measurement of you, O oh Lord. It is in that context that we pray today for the United States, the brokenness and division that is so evident there at this time. But we also know that there's a very real sense of brokenness and division with us here in Canada. So we pray for those who experience discrimination and are treated differently because of their race or background or sexual preferences. We pray for our church, for St. Andrews and the brokenness and division here in our midst. Indeed, help us to find the path, to find your path for us a path that leads to purpose and meaning, a path of finding unity as we seek together to serve you in faithfulness and in love. We pray as well for those who are sick and fearful, those who experience loss and anguish, those who are heartbroken, and those who feel alone. We pray for our community, our nation, and our world in the midst of this pandemic, that we might care for each other by following the guidelines to keep each other safe. In the midst of this time that has changed so many things about how we live and worship, help us to know your love and to be renewed and find hope and faith because we know, we truly know that you are with us each and every step of this journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, we pray. Amen.